Maybe I'll just stand out here in the black. Black like my soul. I'm all alone. Nobody likes me. I'm just a Mario without a name. And I'm purple. Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I'm the Comic Foil. I found a neat little Easter egg here, actually. So, as you know, in the last episode, I turned all purple. I'll explain why in a second. Oh, I'm a B-list star. How about that? Um, but it includes showing Mario on this screen here as purple. But, but when I'm back here, and I'm supposed to be in silhouette, and I'm in a shadow, um, it also does that on the screen. It So if for any lighting conditions or anything, Mario would change color or change his look they include that on the pause screen pretty neat but um i lost my name and my main body uh the shapeshifter pulled one over on me and stole all my friends because like i'm the one who even wanted to do this adventure and he's stealing my mojo and now i have to fight spike goombas by myself and i accidentally jumped on one and i don't even have flurry to like make it all better so like crap Luckily, I have items, I have star moves, I have lots of other options. I could do earthquakes, because I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna run from my from my fears. Uh, maybe I should have run from my fears, though, because... Oh. Oh, that's gonna be a very big Goomba. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, I need to... I need to blow through all my items. I, I won't use the earthquake there, but I will... I will use an, another item, so... Uh, it's gotta be the Ice Storm. That's the only option. Ice Storm. Take take care of them, please. Please, kill them. Kill them all. Burn them all. Alright. Earthquake does not do quite enough damage to take them all out in one go. I'm a little low on health. Okay. It's hard when you're doing it all by yourself. Power Punch. Oh, well, I can boost my... I can boost an ally's power. If I had allies but they all left me for a shapeshifter. I thought after all this time they would, like, be able to tell the difference. I guess it doesn't help that Mario never talks in this game. So, he's a pretty easy guy to impersonate, all things considered. Alright, come here. Come here. I'll fight you. I'll fight you myself. Okay, I want to give this a try, because I got two Hyper Paragoombas and a Tornado Jump. I want to try damaging all the mid enemies. So, as you land on a foe, press A, then the attack buttons you see. Oh, I didn't even get the A right. Wow. Up mine. That, that's awful. That's... Let's try it again, just because... I can't even time the A right. Is there something wrong with my controller? Like, seriously. I'm getting the super guards just fine, but... Ugh. I'm very disappointed in myself right now. Maybe I should try a spin jump. Oh, what? What? Why can't I do this? Did turning purple completely mess with my groove? Oh, oh no. Oh no, this is bad. This is pretty bad. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do the Earth Tremor. I kinda have to now. Wow. I, I'm embarrassed. I really am. Okay. So I'm not screwing this up so far. Why, why am I getting all my jumps wrong now? You guys have been watching me play this for a while. Have I ever been that bad at my jumps? The correct answer is no. I've been great at them. Oh, okay. I hope this isn't not enough damage to take me out. But, I'm in danger, I'm in danger, I'm in danger, someone please help. See, that's what I'm what I'm supposed to do. I was thinking, okay, with the tornado jump, I was thinking too much about the next move, that I wasn't getting the last one right. I mean, I was thinking too much about, like, what I would have to press after I do the tornado jump. That might take some practice, I don't want to fight you, don't want to fight you. Um, uh, should I heal up, or should I hope that there's something that heals me up soon? No. Gonna splurge. I also have two life rooms, so that helps. But... Ah, uh, but that's only 14. I'm only at 14 now. Anything in here? No. No, that's just more mindless smashing. 
Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Oh, whoa, that's a that's a creepy way to appear. Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name. And I really dig this body, too. Man, can I jump now? And hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed! I just love being you! Yeah, it's so cool, I don't think I ever want to stop. So, you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body, too. Which means you can turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. What? That's not enough, either. I aim to erase you for good. I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This will be fun, right? Now, guess. What's my name? Hit me with your best shot. Here's the problem. Um, I actually know what his name is from playing the game before. I wonder, does anything crazy happen if I guess it beforehand? Wait, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my god. Oh my god! I can't do it! I can't do it because the lowercase p is missing! Oh, you jerk! You jerk! Even if I know the name, it can't do it because it hid the lowercase p. That is... Ah. Uh, that's brilliant and also a jerk move. And I appreciate that. So, I'm gonna guess that your name... There we go. Buttface. That seems right. Is it okay, Buttface? Yes. Is your name Buttface? Wrong Amundo, little nobody. Who'd name their kid that? Prepare for your doom, Slick. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And don't even think about running from battle here. No running! Uh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to fight you, Buttface. Oh, uh, no. Uh, not good, not good, not good, not good. Can I run? Can I run? I mean, you told me not to. That kind of makes me want to. Ah, uh, that was close, too. I almost didn't make it in time. Aww, that's no fun. Yeah, so, um, I got an evil Mario to contend with. But here I am. It's all gonna be okay. The curse has been lifted since Mario beat that bad, bad ghost. Ah, that perfect red cap. Those scuffed blue overalls. He's the absolute best. Why don't you do something about your appearance and spiff up like Mario, huh? Spiff up like Mario? Mario was like the definition of sl schlubby. What's going on in here now? What's... What's... What's going on? Oh! Um, wow, there's a lot going on here. Perhaps... I don't want... I was here in this shot... Okay. Huh? I do not understand this madness. No, no, I just do not get it. I remember coming here by that pipe, but it all gets fuzzy after that, and now I do not know where I am here. Not that it is a problem. This little filly is tray fetching, no? Huh? Okay, I guess he was one of the pigs. I collect the goods and she sells them, simple. A good shop, like a good marriage, is dependent on teamwork, my friend. So, show your support and buy something. Yeah, I think I will, I think I will. Uh, do you have any good... Okay, buy some super shrooms. Good, good. Um, I'm gonna rearrange my items here. Alright, let's go back in here. I'm gonna collect that boo sheet. I'm gonna collect that jam and jelly, which restores a whopping 50... Flower points. That's awesome. I should have actually grabbed that before. That would have been smart. Um, kind of want one of the... Nah, I can come back for it sometime if I want it. Yeah, that's good enough. Good enough, good enough. Uh, actually, no. Let's grab some lightning, because if I'm going to be by myself and want to hit multiple enemies, that's going to be the best way to do it. Okay. Got the Thunder Rage. Very good. Here, though, Thunder, like, 
kills people. In other things, it shrinks people. But, oh, hey, it's these ones. Oh, those were the three pigs in the triangle before. That's amusing. Hey, we are the Traveling Sisters 3. Hey, I think we were pigs until a moment ago. No way, we're not pigs. But if we were, we'd be such cute ones, huh? Yeah. Um, you were equally cute to all the other pigs. All the pigs looked pretty much the same. Oh, there she is. Aw, oh, she's sad. What'll I do? What'll I do? Poor me. Who actually says poor me, though, actually? I'm gonna try sleeping before I go and talk to her, though. I gotta I got get myself healed up. Refresh your body and soul at our lovely Twilight Inn. Our rate is ten coins. Will you stay the night? Mm. Enjoy your rest, sir. Only if you tell me a bedtime story. Did you sleep well? Well, have a nice twilight. Oh, I see what you did there. Because it's always twilight here. Haha. <laughs> hey. Are you okay? I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister is going to punish me again. But it's just not here. Aw, oh, poor thing. Well, um... I don't think it is here. Is it? Oh! The Super bob -omb. I probably shouldn't give this to you, but hey, if you want to blow the crap out of... out of Buttface, go right ahead. What? You found it? Yep, it's a grenade. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I won't get punished now. Um. Oh no! It's... it's broken! It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What'll I do? What'll I do? I guess I was just meant to be punished for life. Um, yeah, here, let me fix it. I, I know how to fix grenades. Oh, don't even bother trying. It's really busted. What'll I do now, huh? My sister just will be back any minute now. But I do appreciate your offer. Thank you. Hey, wait just a second. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? Um, I don't think I have one of those now. What? I can't hear you. That's so creepy. Like, if you try to say your name, nothing will come out. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Really? Does that happen? Are you familiar with this? Do you think I'm a Shadow Siren? Like, do I look like one when I'm like this? Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen. Okay, she's not familiar with that. That's absolutely crazy. And they have a nice bonding, bonding exercise there. Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do. I don't know about that. And that, and you were worried about me that whole time. That's so kind. All right, that's it. I'm going to help you get back your name and your body and your friends. Hey, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. And I feel like I need to repay y your earlier kindness. It's the right thing to do. Yeah, you gotta get out of there, girl. It's not healthy for you there. Oh, and that's number four, I think. I think that's number four, if not more women that have kissed Mario. Just everybody wants him. Yep, here we go. <laughs> I like how she stands up. Kind of goops up off the ground there. Yeah, there's always a little shadowy strand of her touching the ground. Vivian's abilities, a primer. Press X to have Vivian pull Mario into the shadows where they can hide. So she's kind of like Bo from the first game. She can be used to turn invisible and avoid things. Yeah, I would think a Boo of all people would be able to find me there, though. I mean, Boos can turn incorporeal too, right? All right, and I can reemerge. In battle, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her Shade Fist. Cool. And she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage from her veil. Cool. She's cute. Vivian, I think you're cute. I guess we need to find out that ghost's real name first, huh? That'll be a start. Now, how are we going to get that kind of information? Oh, hey! I have sort of an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around. But... They're actually really well informed from all that flying and eavesdropping. With my power, you can listen in on their conversations without them knowing. So in addition to villagers, let's also try to get some info from local birds. 
that's the least I could do for you with my powers. So, yeah, got Vivian now. I can... I can swoop. I can swap. I can... Listen in on bird conversations. What are you guys gossiping about? So, I was chatting with Rotbeak in Mushroom Town on Instant Messenger yesterday. Oh, they use Instant Messenger. That's adorable. And he said he'd just gone fiber optic on his home network. You believe that? Rad. I bet he's downloading 100 meg apps with no problems on that those fat pipes. He's probably surfing that Feather Club for Crows site at the speed of light now. Ooh, Feather Club for Crows. Hmm. Yeah, it just blows my mind. My, It just blows me away, all this information age hype you hear about. And yet, it's all games and Feather Lost sites that are driving the technology. Yeah. But I think tech bus survivors can thrive if they get viable business models. This is what crows talk about, everybody. <sighs> Who the heck? Who the heck this game? You know, people often say that my shadow is faint, but yours is really something. I mean, you are a shadow. No offense or anything. How about you? You ought to move in here. A shadow like you, you'd fit right in, know what I mean? Yeah, because I don't technically take up space, I don't know. Uh, what? A guy with a red cap and some blue overalls? That sounds familiar. Come on, brain. Oh yeah, that's Mario! He's the adventurer who saved our village! And are you a, an adventurer too? I like adventures. Aw, that's cute. Okay, let's listen to some more bird conversations. I've been really depressed lately. Thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels, I love how crows talk about world issues. Yeah, tell me about it. We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric. I think solar energy probably has the greatest potential. Th that's what crows talk about. Man. Were they, like... Man. Crows. So progressive. I forgot all about that. Okay, what do you have to say? You're all by yourself. So, what does a crow say when he's by himself? Alas, this twilit world is too full of pain and contradiction, too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so that I could flee the terror of mundanity. Okay, so that one's Edgar Allan Poe's Raven. And how about you two? Hey, Maud, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his SATs this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feathers, Flo. Birds take SATs. Okay, so there's that. And how about you guys up here? Oh, hey. Yes, I'm a novelist. It's not all that easy on the eyes, but I read by moonlight. So, what kind of books do you like anyway? Oh, that's tough. I like a lot of stuff. Um... No, I don't just read strategy guides all the time. Gonna go with fantasy. Shouldn't you spend your time reading something a little more worthwhile? What? Excuse me? Okay. What about suspense? More worthwhile? I'm guessing you feel the same way about romance. Okay, is this the joke? Is this, a, is this the joke? Oh, well, it didn't give me any other options. Okay. Fine, then. For your information, I was just reading some Terry Pratchett. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb, it makes me want to peck their noses. Wait. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Whoa. The Darklings are considered human? Oh man, are Toads considered human? This this just blows the entire Mario universe wide open. Um, the. The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under creepy steeple, I hear. Because, you know, if no one knows your name, then you can use unstoppable magic. Oh, I didn't know that. What if someone says your real name to you, then your magic will stop working? So, I wonder how all this is going to end up then. I don't know, man. You were just crows, but gotta go to creepy steeple again. Did you hear that? If we search under creepy steeple, maybe we can find out the guy's real name. Let's go, to Creepy Steeple. And so, the Nameless One and Vivian head off to Creepy Steeple, but I might run into Duplos again now. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. I would have done this back in town, but 
That would have looked very... That wouldn't have looked very good, would it? And jumping out of the... Yep, there you are. So, this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm. He looks sort of familiar to me. Wow, Vivian, maybe you're not that much smarter than Beldum then. All right. Can the chatter. Here's the deal. You get your chance, then I stop you. If you guess my real name, then you get your body and name back. Fire away, no name. Okay, well, it didn't work the first time, and there's still no lowercase p. So how about... Face... Butt. Maybe I just had the order wrong before. What do you think, face butt? Wrong Mundo, little nobody. Who's named there? Okay, yeah, you got the same thing going there. And don't even think about running away from battle here. No running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna run. Uh, I'm gonna run like a Secretary of State. <laughs> All right, that's what uh, that's what Vivian looks like when she runs. Oh, oh, unfortunate. Okay, well that's fine. I get another chance at it. That's not gonna happen twice in a row now, is it? I mean, it couldn't have. You can never tap it quite enough times to get it all the way up. Like, it's never gonna be a 100% chance of running away. He must have been hiding there in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. Okay, let's see how you fight, Viv. Vivian was always one of my favorite characters, though, now that I think about it, I can't really remember how she fights, like, what her fighting style is. Uh, let's take a look. Shade Fist, attack with a burning punch that sets enemies on fire or veil, hide in the shadow with Mario to avoid attacks. Okay, well, let's do some fire first. Oh, press the button that appear on screen. Got it. Okay, here's X. I, I figured that out, like, last minute. Okay, so he's gonna take a little damage from fire every turn. Hopefully on his turn, which means that her damage output is four, like everybody else. Oh, you're dropping stuff on me? But I'm electrified now, right? Yeah, so enemies that hit me get electrified. Cool. Okay. Alright. My super guards aren't quite working. But you're on fire, so that's good for me. Let's do another Shade Fist on you. Okay, good. And that's enough for me to be able to take you out this turn. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you're gonna waste your last turn powering up? Sorry, man. Not gonna cut it. Also, you're on fire. Okay, now you're not on fire, but... There we go. And that's all she wrote. Okay. Yeah, Vivian's interesting. Um, actually, while I fight more Hyper Goombas, sorry, this might... I, I know you've seen me fight plenty of Hyper Goombas. Um, well, yeah, let's skip over. We can skip over Hyper Goombas. They're not going to be that exciting. And there we go. Okay, so those are all the Goombas taken out here. So, Vivian, uh, Shadow Siren, so obviously taken from, like, Greek mythology on the name Sirens. That wasn't the right thing to press. There we go. Um, always reminded me more... Oh, even the tube is purple. I didn't realize that before. Uh, always reminded me more of, like, shadow enemies from D&D, &D, but, um, that's not even the interesting thing about her. So, in the original Japanese game, and most localizations, Vivian is actually a transgender character. Yet another Mario character who's transgender, right there with Birdo. Another character that we forget about there. Um, yeah, she's often referred to by other characters and even in the tattle log with male pronouns in the Japanese manual. But um, she would refer to herself as female and, you know, was considered one of the one of the three sisters, one of the shadow sirens. Uh, that's how it is in Japanese and every other language that this game is ported into, except for English and German. Um, English never, you know, did too kindly with even talking about transgender issues. That was never really 
a thing we like to talk about here in the American market. Uh, reminds me of Birdo, how in the original instruction manual it talked about Birdo being a boy who thought it was a girl. Um, lots of conversations you can have there. But yeah, that's a, that's a change they decided to do with Vivian, just take that out. Um, I guess, though, in the original translation, that gave Beldum even more reason to be nasty to Vivian while being nice to Marilyn. And, you know, kind of adds another dimension to her calling... Instead of just calling Vivian ugly, she would call Vivian manly. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot of tran uh, transgender characters in games, and usually vi villains. Hyper, hyper. All right. Um, I will say, though, that is something of Japan to be willing to talk about that where America isn't willing to American media wasn't even like willing to admit that existed until you know it's kind of unavoidable to talk about right now um but yeah it's hard to think of many other like good guys who are transgender I can think of one but me saying who it was would be a spoiler for the game it's from so I'm not even going to um you guys who know what I play know what I'm talking about. Oh, and there comes uh, Merle again. I'm glad Merle's here because I actually just had a really bad round. I accidentally... Um, well, it was a good round at first because I managed to use that new Veil move to avoid some damage while Mario was asleep. But uh, I accidentally used that heal 50 FP item thinking it was a, um increase attack power item. So, whoops. So much for that really useful item that would have been really clutch, and I just got hit. Aw, oh, heck no. Heck no with this. Nah, we're Earth Tremoring that. We're Earth Tremoring the heck out of that. Vivian also, like most characters, was supposed to make an appearance somewhere in Super Paper Mario and just, just kinda didn't. Which is a shame, because I think it would have been really cool to have them all appear somewhere. I think there was a card for her, but oh yeah, yeah, we can go in here now. I forgot about that. So, that one thing that I couldn't figure out how to do before, I can do it now, but I'm getting hit by Buzzy Beetles. And all the Buzzies. All the Buzzies now. Which is bad. I jumped on that one, which is good, but it also means that I'm gonna have to, like, jump... I'm probably gonna, like, land on all the other ones on the way down and, like, land on a hundred spike tops. Okay, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got with the Shade Fist. Good. Okay, three damage. That's... that's perfect. That, that's just the amount I need you to be doing. Problem with Vivian is she doesn't have a lot of health, but then again, I haven't upgraded her yet. But she is kind of the... she's the mage character. Um, I wasn't able to do any damage to Clefts before, but that's because Clefts are immune to fire anyway. I think she might actually pierce certain defenses, uh, as it were. Do I really have to fight all these guys? Um, who did that hit? Who did that even hit? It's gonna do, like, no damage, though. Yeah, this is, this is problematic. This is a problem for me. And Beetle's exterminated. Buzzy's muted. And now to deal with this wall. You remember this wall? I remember this wall. But it's time to forget about this wall. Yeah. You got a problem, wall? Just gonna let it pass on through. When life gives you trouble, just pass on through. There you go. That is why Vivian is cool. Because you can do stuff like that. So, can save here. Get my Shine Sprite. I now have enough to uh, heal Vivian, I mean to uh, upgrade Vivian, but unfortunately I can't return to Rogueport right now because the pipe only works if you have a name, as you might recall. Um, I think they made it like that because they weren't going to program every NPC in the game to respond to you being a shadow or to make them all remember how Mario worked. Jump down. Alright, and into the deep chasms we go. So, to figure out where we are, where we're going. Um, where are we? Where are we going? Is that a, uh, is that a thing I can go under? Yes, it is. Okay, and it's a parrot. Hey, man. Good morning, good morning. Uh, well, I'm gonna plunder these chests first. 
Power plus. Boost Mario's jump and hammer attacks by one. That sounds really good, too, actually. Uh, Mr. Softener. Actually, I could have used those for some of the buzzy things. I got the letter P. A letter needed to get Mario's name and body back. That's really funny. And a steeple key. A key that opens the door to some room. So I got the letter P back so that I can use it when I'm trying to guess the shapeshifter's name. Pretty bird, pretty bird. Shine get, shine get. Um, does he say anything else? Oh right, he's a bird though. Birds sometimes have conversations when no one's around. Scrock? What happened to those weirdos who were just here? Ah, huh? whatever. It was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one know his name, his real name, locking me in here just because I know it, and making me guard the name's stupid missing letter, no way to treat a parrot. I forgot that the missing letter was actually part of it. I really want a cracker. Dupless, you're a big meanie. When's feeding time, huh? Man, could have locked him in here with some food. So now I know his name. Skrawk? Ah, uh, pretty bird, pretty bird. Yeah, too late, buddy. Your secret's unsafe with me. Now I know his name. His name is Dupless. Now I can get out of here. How about that, huh? How about that? We are out. The key the key to getting out of here was in here, though, anyway. <laughs> hmm. We heard that. We heard you, little birdie. Dupless. That's his name. Now, let's get your name and body back that, from that meanie. And we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. Okay, so, there you go. We now have the means. Evil has a name, and his name is Dupless. I kind of like Buttface better. So next time, we'll have our grand return. We'll have our grand battle, us versus Buttface. Um, until then, I'm the Comic Foil, and yeah, uh, you gotta watch out. You gotta watch out for stray peas. They'll get you. You gotta always know where your pea is. Can't just put P anywhere willy-nilly. Gotta keep up on that.